Once you've got the Techno interface open, we want to double check that uh, the settings are correct for an automatic tool changer. So click on Setup, click on Advanced, and you see Automatic Tool Changer present, HSD Tool Changer is selected. Then we want to go to Spindle Control, and I want our Spindle Control mode to be number 2, which is Automatic Tool Changer. We're now ready to uh, learn the two locations. First thing we want to do is actually home the machine. This will give the machine a specific location that it can uh, reference the, the two locations. So we're going to click home and then select all. And the machine will now jog to its home position. Okay. Once the machine is home, what we want to do is put a tool holder in the truck. To do that, we're just going to jog the machine to a specific lo or a convenient location for me. Then I'm going to open the chuck. To do that, we click on Tool, click on Chuck Control, and here's the lay. It gives us how many seconds it is. It's going to be until the tool opens. We're going to click five, and I click Open. So you see the countdown there. Now, when you, uh, you see the the chuck open on the spindle. Now, what I want to do is put my tool holder in the chuck. So I'm going to click Close, and then on the chuck, I'm going to place the tool holder in here. <clears throat> now we're ready to uh, go learn our two locations. So what we want to do is click OK or cancel out of this. And now we want to jog to the to the first two location, number one. So I use the uh, the general jog just to get me in a rough area. Once we get closer and closer, we can turn. So once we're in a, the rough area of, the machi of where the machine tool location is going to be, we can switch to jog step. What jog step will do, make sure jog step is at a, a low value. Every time I, I push the arrow to move it, it's going to jog by just, a, uh, by just the amount that is in here. This will allow me to uh, do a fine adjustment and get very specific with where the tool location is. So, it can be best to uh, get closer to the, the tool holder. And So once you get closer to the tool, tool location, you want to slip or click into step mode. Once you're in step mode, you can draw more slowly. When you get closer, you can get a more accurate view of where your machine is or where the tool holder is. Turn the spindle. You can feel the resistance here. Once I can feel a fair amount of resistance, that tells me that uh, I've got a good location for the tool holder. So now what I want to do is is learn this tool location. So we're going to click on on tool, and we're going to uh, learn tool stand location. Click this button here. We're going to enter the number of the tool stand location, which is number one. Let me click OK. So it's going to ask me, do I want to eject this tool now? I'm going to say yes, so it'll uh, release the tool and jog up. So I say yes. that it released the tool. Now when I go to tool change, I do number one, I click OK. And it picks up the tool. But now I've got tool location one uh, saved. 
Now we can proceed to uh, learn the other tool locations in a similar manner. And once they're learned, we can go on to learning tool lengths.